Flash is all the rage on the internet these days. The files are small, they load fast, and they work just as easily on both Mac and PCs. Problem is, there isn't really an easy way to download these files until now. So before we get into this insider secret, first let's take a look at YouTube's terms of use. And it says if I download some of the content, I agree not to distribute it. So I'm no lawyer, but I'm gonna take that to mean that I could put a few clips on my iPod to watch later, but I can't upload it to a file sharing site. So with that out of the way, let's get the video off of YouTube and onto our computer. My favorite new way of doing this is by using RealPlayer. That's right, you heard me correctly. The new version of their software literally adds a right-click function to download web video, not only from YouTube, but just about from any site that doesn't prohibit it. Once you've installed the RealPlayer program, just go to any page that has video on it and hover over the video while it's playing. You'll see a little download this video button pop up. Click that button and it literally downloads the video right to your computer. See how easy that was? Now that the file resides on our computer's hard drive, we can double click it in real player in our library and it plays on our computer even when we're not connected to the internet. But try as you might, you won't be able to transfer this file to our iPod because it is in flash format and the iPod doesn't read that. So this is where a second program comes in, one that's gonna take this flash file and convert it into an iPod movie friendly format. Now there are a ton of programs out there that do it, but the one I like is called MoviePod because it's really simple to use. You just drag the file in and it converts it. So let's show you how to do that. Once you've downloaded and installed MoviePod, just go ahead, double click to open it, and then find the file that you downloaded in RealPlayer. In my computer, it's my video slash RealPlayer downloads. Drag it into MoviePod and it will automatically convert the file into an iPod friendly format. Now this file is actually gonna be bigger than the original one because it's sort of expanding it, but once it's done in a few minutes, it'll automatically even transfer it into iTunes for you. How much easier can this get? Now this part's pretty easy. You've done it a million times before. Just plug in your iPod and give it the old sync. And look at that, when you're all done, the best of YouTube right in the palm of your hand. Now keep in mind, this process theoretically works for any website that streams flash video in an unprotected format. So go ahead and give it a try. You can even bring it on your next plane flight. I'm Rich Demiro with CNET TV. That's it for this Insider Secret. Bye-bye.